What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of the Narcissist Code. I am your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, also known as Mental Illness from TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. You know where to find me at. If this is your first time seeing my face, I am a diagnosed narcissist that uses his platform to raise awareness for narcissistic personality disorder and also in the process, validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. Today's episode is going to be about the narcissist using their kids as leverage against the significant other. Because a lot of times you get into a relationship with a narcissist, you have kids really, really fast. Like So my recommendation, y'all, is going to be always take things slow. I know people are going to say, I took it slow and it still happened. Taking things slow decreases your chances of ending up in a narcissistic relationship for a very, very long time. It just does. Because you should not be moving in together talking kids in marriage in six weeks, in two months, in three months even. You should just should not be doing that. It takes on average, the minimum, 90 days to get to know somebody for who they really are. 90 days. Set, you have 90 days to set boundaries, make people uncomfortable, and do things of that nature. Background checks, credit checks, I don't know what you need to do, but you need to take it slow because you should not be spending a night, I mean, spending a night, I don't care, but... You should not literally be moving into each other, have overnight bags and your clothes and your animals intermingled and meeting kids and stuff and parents in less than two months or six weeks. You just should not be doing that. And that's when you, when you do that and you start having kids by people you don't know, you end up in narcissistic relationships with narcissistic abuse, where narcissistic abuse happens. Because you feel like, well, I got a kid by this person, might as well try to be with them. Narcissistic men and narcissistic women, the same thing. This is the same thing. I got a kid by them, might as well try to be with them. And you try to be with them, you try to get a family together because people think like, uh, you know, people think that the family starts with the baby. You know, I, I got a family now. We started trying to make this family work, and then you end up in a narcissist, a toxic relationship where the the narcissist, you know, uses the kids as leverage. And this is not just when it goes fast. This is long term relationships as well, where the narcissist will use the kids as leverage to keep the person, to keep you in a relationship with them, to keep you unhappy, to keep you, you know, to keep you right exactly where you are in the situation, to keep you unhappy settled in and things like that because you threaten to leave like, i'm just going to leave you if you threaten to leave the narcissist will just say well i don't want these kids anymore if you leave me i'm not going to be a parent to these kids you're going to break the family up i don't care what i've done i don't care if i cheated on you i don't care about uh, the narcissist doesn't care what they've done to you they don't care if they cheated on you they don't, they don't care if they hit you they don't care if they've been physically abusive to you mentally abusive they don't care what they've done to you they don't care if they isolated you from your friends and family they don't care if they financially abuse you they don't care what they've done to you they will threaten to leave they will threaten to just not be a part of their child's life because you don't want to be with them anymore and they're threatening of course they'll threaten to unalive themselves as well but typically they'll threaten to just dis, dis, like disavow the kids they'll discard the kids that they have with you and go play stepdaddy or stepmommy to somebody else's kids. It's evil and it's, it's 100% evil and it happens all the time. And some people, because a lot of people get raised in two-parent households, like, well, I, I want that for my kids. I want, I want my kids to be raised in two-parent households so I'll just stay in this toxic, unhappy-ass relationship just so my kids have a fighting chance of having a two- <laughs> Sorry. Mm. I'm staying in this toxic, unhappy relationship. Sorry, y'all. So my kids have a fighting chance of having a two-parent household. Not realizing that, yeah, two-parent household, I guess this the, the, the statistics say that two-parent household, the kids that are raised in two-parent household, I guess, come out better. But not two toxic-ass parents that don't like each other, or one toxic parent and one person who's just there to, be, to keep the family together. Those kids grow up to resent. You create narcissistic kids, no kids grow up to resent the other parent or resent both parents. And kids these days, these new age kids, the millennials or whatever you want to call them, the zennials or whatever you call them, they are cutting their parents off at an astonishing rate. They're going no contact with their parents. 100%. Not talking to the parents anymore. And they'll, they'll stop talking to the narcissistic parent and the non-narcissistic parent because a lot of times they'll hold grudges against the non-narcissistic parent for not leaving, for subjecting them to that physical, mental, verbal abuse because they didn't want to leave because they wanted to keep the family together but now you have a family with a toxic ex and then like sometimes the narcissist will discard you after the kids leave and cut you off the narcissist will discard you and then you'll be all by yourself my kids don't want to talk to me no more because I didn't leave boop 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 blah 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 nope your kids don't respect you your kids won't if you like I, I, I say this all the time 
people don't take people like I ask people when I'm doing one on one. I say, if your child came up to you and told and so told, told you that they were in the exact same relationship situation that you are in right now, what would you tell them? Because I would just tell them to leave. I would tell them to take their stuff, pack their stuff, and be strong and leave. Then and I tell them, why don't you do the same thing? Why? Why are you too good for your own advice? Because if you're too good for your, uh, why are you too good for your own advice? I tell that to people all the time. Like you can raise these kids in this toxic ass environment, because uh, oh, you told me to stop working. I don't have, you know, I don't have, I have no job has no work history. Build it up. It's time to start or remain there. Let the kids grow up to hate you. Your choice. My kids grow up. They'll know who. They'll know who was there for them. Yeah, they know who wasn't there for them too. Yeah. And like I said, that happens a lot. Like the narcissist will threaten to discard the kids to keep you in that situation with them, to keep yourself unhappy, keep the kids unhappy, keep everything in a toxic relationship, and then like it's just the whole house toxic. And those kids grow up and discard their parents. Those kids grow up and go no contact with their parents. Like have you talked? Have you, have you talked to our daughter lately? No, she, she said she wasn't talking to us no more. She said we toxic. She said some TikTok. She listened to the Narcissist Cold podcast and she learned we were. I was a narcissist. And she said you was toxic. And you was an enabler, so they ain't talking to us no more. They they said they better off without us. But you'll do that. You know what I mean? And like I said, because the narcissists will threaten it. The narcissists also will use the kids as leverage by telling it like the parental alienation comes into play. Well, when you go get the kids, or you go get the kids, or you'll drop the kids off for their time with their dad or their time with their mom, and they come back to you and saying some crazy stuff. Like, Mom, I don't love you anymore. What? Who told you I, I, you don't love me anymore? Why, you, why don't you love me anymore? Well, Dad told me to, to tell you I don't love you anymore because you're a bad parent. Stuff like that happens. They'll st they'll start to try to torture you through the kids. Abuse by proxy, abusing the kids as well. That's abuse. I mean, that's of course that that's, you know of course that's child. It's pretty much child abuse right there. When you're doing that type of stuff right there, you feeding your child like terrible words and terrible things to say about the other parent. That is terrible. Or you making or you scheduling. Uh, events around the other kids, parent, uh, other parents, uh, parenting time where they're supposed to spend, spend time with the kids. Oh, they have soccer practice S on, only on your days. <laughs> they have games on your days too. Sorry, if you can't get them, if you can't take them to the game, well, I guess you won't get them this weekend. I guess you won't get them next week because they have practice, they have schoolwork to do. Blah 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 blah. That's for that's parental alienation as well. You know, I'm telling you, narcissists, they they just don't know um, no bounds. There's no boundary set right there. So when, like, when it comes to these kids, they will use kids as leverage. And I, I know a lot of people ask me, like, do narcissists love their kids? Some people, sometimes narcissists only love their kids. And that's the, that'd be the issue right there with some of Because they only they will only do stuff for the kids, but the significant other gets neglected. And that creates a toxic, that, that, that creates an imbalance in the relationship as well. Because then, some, you know, then you, you, the significant other is unhappy, but the kids are happy. And then, you know. And sometimes you get to the situation where the narcissist is jealous of the kids, is jealous of their own kids, and try to hold them, hold their kids back from succeeding or going past what they, you know, going past the, going past, the, passing them in life, going past them doing what they need to do and things of that nature. Narcissists will do that, y'all. I'm just letting you know, narcissists are like they, we we know no bounds. Kids are just an ex the kids become an extension of us, so they we use the, the narcissist will use the kids to abuse you. We we'll do things like that, hurt the kids, you know, you know, bruise the kids, like mentally abuse the kids, do do all of that stuff. You have to protect your kids. Your, your, our kids deserve to grow up better than we did. Now I, I hear that I hear that a lot. This gen, this new generation, is something going on with this generation. Who raised this generation? Like, who who raised this generation? This new generation, they got so much stuff going on there. Just weird. They are crazy. They are just everything we weren't. Who raised them? Who raised them? Answer that question. Who raised this generation that we are so that you were hating so much? Who raised this generation of kids? You know what I mean? These people, like the, the kids deserve to grow up and have a fighting chance. That's why if I can go to therapy and work on it, you can take your power back and do what you need to do as well. Stop parental alienation. Stop using kids as leverage. Stop, you know, take your power back and be strong. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. It's weekend. Today's my son's birthday party. I'm kind of tired. I hope y'all felt my energy in here. Anyways, I'm so thankful for every single one of y'all. Like and subscribe to the channel. If you're listening to this on podcast, Apple Music, Spotify, whatever, hit me with that five stars. I really, truly appreciate it. Anyways, y'all, I'm so thankful for every one of y'all. Nothing else got to go. Peace out.